Well, my next guest was once a devastated Hillary voter, but the toxic way the left reacted to that loss made him rethink everything. His Facebook video ignited a nationwide movement to reject the left's hatred, violence, and fake news. And now he's preparing to lead a march on Washington in 2020, calling even more Americans to wake up and walk away. Passivity got us here. Today, I'm announcing the House of Representatives moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. Complacency got us here. Silence got us here. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. No more. It's time for the silent majority to become unsilent. Coming in the fall of 2020, Walk Away Campaign implores you to take a stand to come together in unity and fight back against the lies, the division, and the hate with love. Once upon a time, I was a liberal. This is our last chance to save America. Walk Away Campaign presents the Unsilent Majority March on Washington. Visit unsilentmarch.com. Please welcome back the founder of the walkaway movement, Brandon Strzok. Brandon, great having you it's back. It's great to be back. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. We Thank had you. such a good time when yes. you first were launching Walkaway. I think, I think it may have been your first television appearance from that Facebook post. We were all mesmerized by what you were doing. It was Thank bold you. and daring. I've watched you. I've seen how you have rallied millions of people across this country to do what you did. I did. Yeah. Well, I think they were ready for it anyway. What, I think what Walk Away did really was provide this sort of platform and network of support for people who were feeling pushed away from the left, yeah. pushed away from a party that they no longer identified. And it's really difficult for a lot of people. I think people don't understand when people are walking away from the Democratic Party, walking away from liberalism, many are walking away from friends, family, job opportunities. This movement has provided a network of support for people who no longer recognize the Democratic Party. And what I have admired about what you're doing is that it's not about just trying to say, okay, this party versus this party. It's about saying we ought to be able to live in a country where we can disagree without being hateful, that inclusion shouldn't mean excluding a whole group of people because their views are different. I mean, that's really what uh, I've, I've been just amazed by how effective you've been. And, and you've caused people to say, think for yourself. Yes. That's the most important thing is that with Walk Away, we don't tell people to leave one party and join another party. We're not telling them to leave groupthink and to walk into another form of groupthink. We're not telling people what to think. We're just saying, please think independently, critically, skeptically, think for yourself. Turn off the fake news. Start thinking for yourself. And it's sad that one of the major political parties in this country, the Democrat Party, has essentially become synonymous with hatred, uh, uh, rage, sometimes violence, vandalism, and, and divisiveness. And I think people are sick of it, and they want better in the public discourse. I certainly do. Well, and when you made that transition yourself, uh, I'm sure you had friends that thought you'd lost your mind, probably caused you to lose relationships with people that you'd known a long time. About 99% of it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> How tough has that been? And I'm talking about personally, not, yes. not just the fact that, okay, they don't talk to me anymore. That's got to hurt. Very, very much. And I have to tell you, as I've kind of pushed forward with Walk Away and made that my drive and my ambition to build this movement, uh, I kind of put that out of my mind. And I thought that there's something larger and bigger at stake, which is to grow this movement. But I have to say, I had the distinct pleasure of, for the first time, meeting President Trump a few weeks mm. ago in Florida. And it was amazing. Yeah. But uh, I have to say, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you had not met him before then. No, okay. not met him. And it was crazy because I actually opened for his rally on August 1st in Cincinnati. But, you know, they, sometimes they whisk him in and whisk him out, and there's right. not that opportunity. But I met President Trump a few weeks ago in Florida, and it was the strangest thing. As I was standing there looking at him, and I had this overwhelming sensation. I wish my friends were here. <laughs> I did. Really? Yeah, all of my friends who, uh -huh. who kind of turned their backs on me, I, I just thought to myself, 
I wish they could see this thing that's happening in my life, but unfortunately, politics turned them away from me. That and is so sad. It's really you know, th sad. There are a lot of people I don't agree with, but I don't hate anybody. I just don't. I can't find myself to hate anybody who is even way over as far left as you can get. A lot of people think Donald Trump hates people, but you've been around him now, and, and you know he is a funny guy. He is so funny. Great sense of humor, and most of stuff he says, he's just poking to get a reaction. That's right. And boy, does he ever get one. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> but see, this is what bothers me so much, and this was a huge part of the catalyst for me starting Walk Away, is that if you were to listen to the liberal media, you would think that Donald Trump hates anybody who's not Caucasian, hates anybody who's not heterosexual, hates anybody who's not a Christian. And yet, if you think about it, he won in 2016 with a pretty small percentage of those minority voters. This is a president who knows that he can win without having to pander to minorities. And yet, every time he goes out on stage, he says with great pride, African-American unemployment's yeah. at an all-time low. Uh, women have, are working and starting more businesses than ever. He, this is not a president who panders to minorities because he needs them. This is a president who serves minorities because he loves them. You know, that's a great, great assessment of his leadership. And I find it interesting, he is a person who believes that if you just help America, then every American, no matter who they are, what color they are, doesn't matter where they come from, uh, every American will be better off if America is a better country. And, and that's what I think many of us are seeing, that our economy is on fire. Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of our cities that are on fire because people are angry. <laughs> True. Tell us about what you're planning for next year, because it's going to be a long, frankly, grueling, hostile election year. What will walk away do to involve people in the campaign, in the effort over the next uh, It's going to be a long, months? grueling year, but I'm in it to win it. Are you guys in it to win it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you all to drink your coffee, eat your Wheaties. We got a big year coming up. So Walk Away is going to, we're, we're going to be getting into as many college campuses as we can with the Walk Away Thought Revolution College Campus Tour. Uh, we're doing these different minority town halls, coast to coast, to try to wake up minorities in this country and say, hey, it's time to walk away. And as you just saw, something we're very excited about, the Unsilent Majority March on Washington, yeah. October 3rd in DC. People can go to unsilentmarch.com if they want to get tickets. Come out. Let's show support for this president. Let's show support for America. This is, it's do or die. This election is the most important election of my lifetime. I'm gonna do everything that I can to support my president. Brandon, if, if I had uh, known you five years ago and said, hey, Brandon, you know what? In 2020, you're gonna be speaking on college campuses and doing rallies supporting a Republican candidate for reelection. <laughs> What would you have thought? I would have fainted. Of course you would. <laughs> I would have fallen on the floor. Yeah, life is funny that way, isn't it? But it's taught me I can never say never. That's I, Before I let you go, i got to ask you about your presence on college campuses because there's such an effort to silence free speech. Yes. So when you go to the campuses, what kind of reaction you get when you tell them your story? <laughs> well, if I can even get through the door, sometimes oh, yeah. that's the first step. Uh, you know, one of the most recent stops we had was in uh, Chico, California. And the protests actually started the day before. Uh, dozens, a mob of protesters. Yeah. And it was very nasty. It was very vicious. Um, once I was able to get inside and tell my story, it actually sort of, I think the mood shifted a little bit. People saw, I don't consider myself a provocateur. That's yeah. one thing that I think I do differently. I'm not going on campuses to trigger liberals. That's yeah. not my thing. I'm actually trying to unite people, bring people together, open up minds, and and... And, and create uh, togetherness. That's what I want to do. So I think when they hear my message and they hear my story, they see maybe there's something here. Maybe I can budge a little bit. And that's, you know, that's all it takes. Let's just make people budge a tiny little bit, a step at a time. We're going to get everybody to walk away. You know, I want to tell you from the first time I saw your video to you're coming on the show before, you've just been one of my favorite people. Thank I you. love your enthusiasm, the joy, and also your convictions, the sincerity. Your authenticity is so very powerful and it's disarming to people. Thank you, sir. Come back often. I will. I appreciate you. Thank you. Great having you Great back. To see you. Thank you. Brandon Strzok. Thank you. Now, if you want to join Brandon Strzok in standing up against the left's intolerance at one of his upcoming events, even if you'd like to invite him to speak in your community, visit walkawaycampaign.com. Also, follow him on Facebook and Twitter at Brandon Strzok. Be sure to look at the spelling of that. It may not be what you think it sounds like, so get it off the screen.